Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about this article on the beast that uh, Disney and Warner Brothers are causing internet piracy to boom. Uh, be, now, there are many things going on here. The article says that the reason that Disney and Warner Brothers are causing internet piracy to boom is they're making it harder to find physical media and they're pulling popular streaming shows uh, off of the, uh, well, I guess, off the air, off the Wi-Fi. What's popular, Willow? Yeah, right? Uh, oh my God, guys, we're all going to pirate The Mandalorian because they pulled Willow off of Disney+. Plus. But, uh, you know, I think there, there might be a little bit of truth to that, but the reality is, and we're going to see, that everybody's canceling their streaming subscriptions. I think they're not getting enough bang for their buck, and there's so many options out there that are free. I mean, we're in a recession. Are we allowed to say it? We're in a recession, and people are trying to save money. A lot of people are losing their jobs. We've been talking about it pretty much every week. And you know, one of the first things you can cut, and one of the first things most people cut, are entertainment. Mm -hmm. You cut entertainment, and if you're spending a hundred plus dollars a month on streaming services, and you're not getting the entertainment that you think you should be getting for that hundred dollars a month, you're gonna cut stuff. And you're gonna go try to find it elsewhere. You're gonna go find it elsewhere. So people are turn into the dark side. They're starting to pirate. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Give woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Go out to shopclownfish.com. Uh, don't pirate our books. Buy a copy of our books. <laughs> uh, actually, our books are not available digitally, legally. So you're going to have a lot to... of stuff isn't, isn't supposed to be legal. That's the point. Yeah. So if, if you're finding our books on a torrent somewhere, that means somebody uh, scanned them in and it's probably a very bad copy. So you want the real deal. You want to support us. I hope uh, go out to shopclownfish.com. You can pick up Crimson Wren volume one and previously on Clownfish TV for the next week. We're doing our triple dip. This should mm -hmm. be the triple dip campaign because we did the, the initial crowd funders for both of these. And then we did a second chance offer. And this is actually the second, second chance <laughs> offer. So there you go, guys. Uh, last call. So the, yeah, this article saying the reason people are pirating is they can't find stuff. And uh, look, they do pull a lot of shows. <laughs> kidding yeah, yeah. <laughs> i was joking what's going on is that you know disney and warner brothers are pulling a lot of shows off because they're taking the write down they're like and once one does it everybody else does the same thing because they're all desperate to save cash because they spent way too much money on streaming shows that nobody's watching that's the truth uh, you know, you're not going to have a problem finding The Office. You're not going to have a problem finding Friends. But, you know, Willow or some Tumblr cartoon thing, probably you're going to have a problem finding it. Uh, and also, you know, physical media is disappearing, too. So Disney, the, re the reason they're saying that they're getting rid of physical media uh, or, you know, what we've been hearing is that they want you to constantly be subscribed to Disney Plus, which we were promised. Remember at the beginning, we were promised that, like, everything in the vault would be available except for Song of the South. Yeah, right. Uh, which you can find on YouTube for free, by the way. You can find Song of the South. But yeah, and they won't copyright strike that because they don't want to own it. <laughs> they don't want to fess up to that. But uh, yeah, you know, we were supposed to just, you know, subscribe to Disney Plus forever and you don't have to buy Blu-ray or DVD anymore, guys, because we got everything except when we don't. Now they're all pulling the shows off. Um, so this is their, this is their theory here. They said that, uh, Warner brothers has, have, uh, purged a bunch of high profile movies and shows. Uh, they got rid of Westworld. Um, they killed off. Yeah. Batgirl. The Westworld was a big one. That was a big deal. And look, what, what we're seeing get cut. And I mentioned this briefly in the video about Dr. Who yesterday, because, uh, Disney just canceled American born Chinese and they canceled some other expensive shows. There are rumors around the you know, future of some of the star Wars shows, Marvel shows too, they're canceling the stuff that's expensive and science fiction is expensive and the animation is expensive. And that's the stuff that's getting cut. And Warner brothers discovery, David Zaslav, man, he loves his reality shows, you know? Yeah. Cause it's cheap. It's cheap to yeah. make. Yeah. I, I, mean, I like, I like discovery reality shows though. So. Some of them, but I do. It's a problem. I can see them being like, yeah, we're bringing Westworld back except, Oh, we're going to convince a bunch of really stupid people that the people they're interacting with are actually robots, but they're not, they don't know that they're not. And they're just on hidden camera. And that's how we're going to save money. Um, but yeah, they killed off a uh, Batgirl, which they're like, it's so bad. We can't release it. And then the flash comes out and it's so bad. They shouldn't have released it but they had a bunch of money sunk into it. Uh, Hulu, Disney Plus, and Paramount are doing the same thing. So what are the options? They're talking about physical media disappearing. Piracy. Piracy, they're saying. 
people who pirate are some of the most rabid cinephiles. Now they, they're doing it because they love movies and they love right. media and they can't find it any way else. That's what they're saying. I think they're just doing it because they don't want to pay for it. That's pretty much it. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. It's too expensive. This, this is like, look, this is the same. This is the same uh, rationale I heard for comic book torrents too. Cause torrenting really hit comics pretty hard, especially with, digital comics. It was like, Oh, it was really easy to just take that PDF and throw it up on a torrent somewhere. Um, they're like people who do pirate are some of the most rabid cinephiles. I know they'd happily pay for a movie if they could. No, actually that's how, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to be honest. That's usually how it starts. It's usually like, Oh yeah, I'm going to go try to find this, this piece of lost media or whatever. I can't find it anywhere else or I can't get on DVD or whatever. I want the unedited version. Oh wait, this is like an all you can eat buffet. I can have everything for free. Well, why the hell would I pay for anything then? If I can have it all for free. Well, I think too, like a couple of the shows or films that you can't get anymore. I think that that might be true. There are people looking for them because they're a big deal. But like Willow, people are out there looking for it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, they said that uh, torrents were have been kind of peaking because people were torrenting shows. Well, that's like, you know, with uh, the Star Wars shows, Mandalorian stuff. They said this is one of the most pirated yep. shows out there. Because he had so, four of the top five yeah. most pirated shows of 2023. Yeah, they said that the current piracy levels are still nowhere near where they were five years ago. Um, a trend reversal is notable. It may suggest that we're at a pivotal point in time. So people are starting to pirate more. I think it's because of the expense. Well, let's talk about what I actually think is going on. This is, this is their theory. And I do believe in some cases that people are trying to find stuff they can't find anywhere They're else. Like Westworld or something like that. I can, I, I can see it. They have a Westworld channel now on Roku. I know, but free. I'm just saying, I can see people would do it for that reason. That's There you go. If you were going to do that, you have a, a, another option. I, I will fess but, up. I will fess up to pirating some Japanese media that was not available on DVD or Blu-ray at the time. Some of it uh, for Squid King. I'd find Ultraman shows online and put them on a thumb drive for him. But that was when it wasn't available. When it, but then wasn't when it available. was available, we bought them. We bought them on Blu-ray. But that's, yes. you know. Yes. Um, just some of the series, the ones that we couldn't get. So yeah, I guess I guess maybe, you know, that kind of proves it. But that, there, but, but I'm just saying, I think right now, the reason people are, you know, out there pirating the, these shows, because some of these shows aren't that good, or they're out there, you know, really hitting these these things and wanting to, to pirate more and more is because they don't want to pay the ridiculous price for all the streaming services. Because when you add it up, it ends up being way more money than probably cable would have been. I it haven't been, had cable for years, honestly, but in short, it's way more money than that. I know we're paying way more money than we used to. Just just for Hulu. So when we first started, we, you know, cut the cord. We cut the cord because we're like, oh, well, hey, we have YouTube and we had like Crackle and, uh, you know, we had, um, you know, Hulu had a lot, it seemed like it had a lot more stations back in the day, but it was like $35 versus mm -hmm. we were paying like $120 a month for uh dish or direct or whatever the heck we had back then. And it's been like 10 years, I think 10 oh, yeah, probably. years since we've, yeah. And we're like, yeah, we're done. We're not going to pay that anymore. And we're trying to save money. I think I just got laid off and we're like, well, we have, you know, broadband, so we'll just do that. Well, then as soon as Disney got a hold of it, they doubled the price, you know, and now it's up to like freaking Hulu with less channels, I believe, is now like $85, $90 a and month. And they're like, oh, that's because you're doing ad-free. It's like ad-free my ass. Yeah, it's ad-free on certain shows. And even then, it's more like ad light. Like Yeah, the they keep adding more and more ads to it. Ad-free is not true. But you've got blocks like freaking three, four, or five-minute blocks of ads now. Yeah, easy. Like there was yeah. like, I think I counted eight commercials the one day. Yeah. They said that uh, anyway, they said even though they're offering ad supported tiers, they said a lot of these companies are bleeding out subscribers. And, um, you know, you can get get Roku and stuff for free now, too. They got Roku. They got Pluto. They've got there's like four or five free of Tubi, you know. So if you're looking at like there's nothing I want to watch on these streamers anyway, and I don't like Disney Star Wars and Marvel, it's dog shit, or I've already seen it, or I can I can pay for this service and this one show I want to watch, I'll just pirate it. Yeah, people are probably going to do it. Right. So they're, I'm not paying a whole you know subscription for this just to watch the one show. Yeah, so the biggest complaint is rising costs. Many people say it's starting to feel like paying for cable again. Mm -hmm. To fight another wave of cord cutting, streaming services are trying different ways, and that's what they're trying to do, the ad-supported. I don't think it's going to work. I think they're they're starting to bundle. I think we're going to see this year Warner Brothers and Paramount merging, and I think we're basically going to go right back to cable. I think what would be ironic in all of this is if like Comcast wound up with all these streaming services. 
you know, and yeah. they're just like, okay, fine. You know, uh, there, there we are guys, you know, where did it bring you back to me? It, it brought be, you back to me. Pretty much. Well, the thing is, when it started, it was great because, you know, I mean, it sucked to have so many different services, but they kept the prices down because they were trying to compete with each other until they realized this isn't going to work. We're not making any money. And they all used to just make content to lease out to like Netflix or Hulu. And yeah, now that all made trying, sense. You know, and everybody kind of subscribed to them and it was, you know, still reasonable prices. Well, now everybody has these shows and they're scattered across so many different services. And after they realized you have to, you know, charge more, they all started charging more. And people are just like, I can't afford all these. Yeah, and that's just it. And it's like, look, you know, uh, Netflix back in the day was like 10 bucks and it had all this kind con- you had the office and you had friends, you had all these shows on there for, so people got used to that. And now it's like Netflix, just basic Netflix is creeping up to like 20, $25 mm-hmm. a month. Now it's absolutely ridiculous. And people have had enough and, uh, you know, they're going to speak with their wallets and their wallets aren't as thick as they used to be. Oh. You know, for sure. I mean, again, we're doing all these stories about layoffs. Like, where do you think the money's going to come from, guys? You know, so. Inflation's been crazy. Mm-hmm. People oh. have to cut some things. They got to cut something. It's it's food or flicks, you know. But uh, I'm sure a lot of these people still have money for By porn. flicks, he means movies. I yeah, mean, well, I meant, I was You thinking, shouldn't have to cut out flicks. You shouldn't have to cut out flicks. Wait, what? What flicks are you talking about? You shouldn't have to cut out flicks. Anyway, continue. Yeah, well, you got you got to kick some of that money over to your favorite uh, OnlyFans streamer right (laughs) so are we gonna wrap this up yeah i think we're gonna wrap this up uh it's gonna be a really interesting year guys i am not having i think we're i mean i think we're gonna have plenty of content but i'm not having a real good feeling i think we're gonna see media just on all levels hollywood and the mainstream media all of it just freaking implode Mm -hmm. and it's gonna be massive massive upheaval so we'll see what happens. Rub your hands together and get your popcorn. Yeah, pretty much. Get your popcorn. We'll, we'll hopefully, hopefully if YouTube doesn't implode, we'll, we'll keep you informed of what's going on. So uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.